Hey uh, everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core. Today I am going to show you the simple video tutorial of a checkbox checked and checked event. And when we check the checkbox, uh, then get the value from uh, uh, the database table. And uh, when we uncheck the checkbox, then uh, hide that values. So when we click on the same as logged in user, so there is the Raju at the gmail.com. So getting that values from the database table, when we uncheck that things, the value will be hidden and uh, uh, clear. So how to do this? So simple thing, when we click on the donor button, that form will be generated. So simple thing in the solution explorer, donor controller. So first thing it will be uh, that do blood donate is a single uh, form will be generated and there is view uh, view of your donor there is the simple donor details model and the donor detail having with the go to definitions here there is id name blood group contact number address etc and uh, when we click uh, when uh, the first thing is there is something that the first thing if view back dot user details is not equals to true I mean to say that the default value of view back and dot user details is false so that form will be generated with the empty because in the name in the blood group and the contact number is default empty so if view back dot user details is not equals to true, then that wall will be generated. And if else, if user back view back dot user details is is not equals to true, I mean to say that false, it's true, then that form will be again generated. You have to say there is the simple uh, form and just copy and paste the duplicacy of the control you can say so how to do how to solve that problem so the first thing view back dot user details is not equals to true and when we checked that checkbox the default checkbox check is unchecked because the view back dot check status is default is false so pass it is to the null and checkbox is unchecked okay when we check that checkbox then that script will be run checkbox check one dot change function and this dot closet form dot submit this is here is the checkbox and the closet form is there this and dot submit dot submit i mean to say that call get and current action method is current logged in user get current logged in user so just come to that section get current logged in user here we have the string dot so copy check here we have uh, copy check is the name of the checkbox there is so in the checkbox we got on and off value so if copy check is on then view bag dot user details true and view bag dot check status is also true so check status is true then assign to the checked okay and a user have user manager dot get user id and http contact dot i mean to say that logged in user details and pass to the details dot name is user dot username only the name will be assigned with the username so and if we if the condition is false then view back dot user details and check uh, check status details is false so so both are false that is assign null and is false that is the first condition so this thing is you can implement in ASP.NET Core. So there is the result. Only the name will be assigned. And there is. 
तो थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो एंड कीप वॉचिंग ऑल अदर वीडियोज विच इज रिलेटेड टू ए एस पी डॉट नेट कॉम